2.45 in the morning, pitch black. I woke up, pinned to the ground, inside my mosquito net, doubled up in my mattress, under the weight of my hut, and then realised I was underwater. Something just took over, like it was just this incredible fight to survive. Took over my body and it was like, kind of like turning into a wild animal, but I couldn't get out. I was just trapped, I was trapped in the darkness. Dad's stories were actually kind of in the, playing in the back of my mind a little bit when we were rocking up and just from what I've heard, uh, him going through the tsunami was pretty radical, you know. Um, you're just kind of playing out these stories in your head when you're, when you're walking up the track, you know, and just these crazy images running through your mind. I had to hold my breath and I had to wait. You know, the water went up and, and receded. Then once that happened, then I could hear the screaming in the, in the darkness. I could hear Monty Weber screaming. I could hear Bosco screaming, Shane Herring screaming and I started to scream. Luckily, Monty uh, came to help me, found me in the back of my hut in this little hole and uh, started screaming at me to get out because M Monty actually thought it was coming back again. Yeah, he got me out. I came back here to G-Land really because of the ceremony. Um, I wanted to pay my respect to the people that actually perished here. Um, you know, we were lucky, we all survived, and there was injuries and, and trauma and fear, but we're okay, you know, and there was 280 people in this local area that weren't okay and that died. And I, I really wanted to pay my respect to that. Obviously, I didn't experience it, but I felt the energy, you know, and even to sit, sitting there in silence while the locals were doing their offerings was, it was quite a, a powerful moment, I think. I particularly saw that with Dad and how he felt it and how he experienced it as being something that was quite emotional for him. It was, it was good to be here with him to see that and experience it too. You know, it's, and it's funny having my son here now, um, all these years later, because he was a little toddler at the time when it happened. He was like one, one and a half. And uh, here we are now, surfing barrels together, you know, in the same spot. So it's a pretty it's a unique experience to be here. Tsunami and the experience definitely had a, an, an effect on me for probably forever. You know, it's one of those memories that's so powerful and so strong. And I think it also it may have taught me not to sweat the small stuff as much. Yeah, love, family, being kind. I hope that it helped me become a better person and, and to realise that it is the simple things that are important in life. <laughs>